Hi, Hello, everyone. everyone can finally hear us. Well, you can finally hear us. Uh, you shouldn't have been able to, but sometimes yeah, that just sorry. doesn't, the That's, mute doesn't happen. You know, and, it's, you know, it's probably my bad. I was fiddling with things. It, you know, doing this stuff is hard. It's hard work. Tickling the old ivories. Yeah, we're tickling people. Ivories, even. We're playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe again. Again. Um, yep, we decided. We're, we're just, this we're, is what we're about. This is who we are we're, as people now. We're carters. Here for the fiddling. The just, uh, why don't you just clean it up a bit, okay? Fiddle, fiddle, fiddler's gathering. We did this and got silver. We did not do this. We did the crown one? Yeah, remember you did Rainbow Road and you did a bad job at it? Oh, yeah, I did such a bad job. Speaking of Mario, I need your help. Um, I don't know what to say to that. What do you need our help with? Do you need a... Looking at two Mario experts here. <laughs> I'm a certified expert on Mario Mario. Mario Mario. That's us. Junimo. What's Jun what's Junimo cart? In Stardew. Oh. What does that have to do with Mario? Is there like a cart game in Stardew? You could drive a cart in Stardew? What does that have to do with friggin' Mario? I, I have played like three hours of Stardew Valley. So I'm pretty much an expert in that too. Get it! Get it? Oh, I can't. I can't decide if you did. There's a mini game, but it's not Mario. It's not Mario. It's not Mario Andretti. You think that's why they called it Mario because of Mario Andretti? Uh, no. But it could be. But <laughs> yeah, it could be if you ignore why they named Mario Mario. Yeah, they named him that because uh, famously Italians and Japan. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I I feel like I had I had something to say. And I, oh, you ran right into that, that -uh. banana peel. No. -uh. Oh, you got booed. Oh, you took my green shell. Took your green shell. That was my green shell. Isabel Maine. Isabel on Maine. Also, Red Thirteen. What's up, up? Isabel, not a bad Smash character either. No, a good Smash character. But I feel like all the Smash characters are basically the same. They are not. I know, but basically. Not even basically. I've been playing a lot of Smash lately. Smash is great. It's fine. Um, my, my kids are bad at it, and they get really upset when they lose. But uh, I really like Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, he's fun. It's fun to play. Um, but you can't beat you know my, my, my go-tos of Kirby and Meta Knight. Meta Knight. I freaking love Meta Knight. Meta Knight fell off. I love Meta Knight. I play. Um, I love Brawlhalla. Little Mac, who's bottom tier. Yeah. And Kazuya, who's top tier. Clark likes Little Mac. He's super fast. Yeah. I just, I just think Kirby's like all around a solid character and pretty cheap to be. Oh, that's the reason. Yeah, Little Mac's recovery. Like he's so fast. He's super strong. He punches. He's like the fastest character in the game. However. However. Ah, did you see that? I saw. That's it. It was, it was good. Um, he I has still like, what really, really bad recovery. So there are ways to mitigate that, but not fully. There's a, there's a, pro, not pro player, but like good player. Probably the best Little Mac in the world is named Peanut. Peanut? It's, seeing him recover with Little Mac is, is impressive. Yeah, I just think, um, I don't understand why people aren't playing Brawlhalla all the time. They oh, are. I know, but people I know. <laughs> Because they're playing Smash. The people I'm friends with. I was going to say, because Brawlhalla is like one of the most popular games yeah, in that genre. Except, except oh. for amongst people I know and hang out with. It's because people you know and hang out with have good taste. Yeah, it's just such... It's a really fun game. And it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's so good. I put... I, I think I have 15 hours racked up in it, which is oh. more than a lot of games I have. That's, that's not nothing. Your internet been booty. Yeah, I noticed your internet was a little booty last time I was over there. I have to take my dog out and leave my phone on the charger. It's your chance to say secrets from me. <laughs> Watch out, bro. Holla. Yeah. Oh. Changing it up. Change of the guard. I um my title on Brawlhalla recently switched over from uh Loser to what is it called? Captain of Brawlhalla two to Captain of Brawlhalla three. That, what does that mean? Is that so, your ranking? No, it's how many years I've played. So uh, there's like, what is it, veteran or something? 
um, up to five, and then up to four, and then veteran five turns it to captain one, captain two, captain. So it's like eight years of playing. Nope, that's backwards. <laughs> I think I started playing in 2016. Um, I definitely prefer Smash to Brawlhalla. Yeah, I know, because you're a Nintendo boy. Um, well, and the fact that it's like a better game has a lot to do with it. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I I don't know if anybody caught Evo last weekend. Um, it was fucking awesome. Uh, biggest fighting game tournament. And, uh, Come on now. Had the most entrance of any eSport event ever. Nice. I don't know what you're talking about. Evo. It's a fighting game tournament. It's a fighting game tournament. Drift. Drift, baby, drift. Oh, no. I'm in the grass. You don't want to be in the grass. I don't want to be in there. Oh, my God. Oh, I think you defeated that red shell. Heck, yeah, I did. With that banana. With that banana. Come on. Oh, someone's on my tail with the bananas. Because <laughs> you're a dog. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! No, oh, come on, come on. Oh. I had nothing. Oh, coin. And you would have got a coin. A coin for my trouble. Whee! Oh, get some air. Get some sick air. Anybody play Baldur's Gate 3? I have not. No, I really wanted to, yeah. but I can't shell out that kind of... I heard it's a, an especially horny game. I've heard that too. Whoa! No! That was a big coin. <laughs> huge! It was huge! Right in the mud, even. Have, did you, I uh, swear to God. It seems like that would be a crossover. Did you play the original Baldur's Gate? On yes, the, absolutely. On the PC? Okay. Absolutely. Then we both played that game. And Baldur's Gate 2. And Baldur's Gate 2. Icewind Dale? Uh, I, ha I think I played a little bit of Icewind Dale. Not much. It seems like that's the thing that would bring all of the friend group's various interests together. Computer games, RPGs, yep. Dungeons & Dragons. Yep. It covers all of them. Horniness. Oh, get wrecked. Ho-ho! Nice. Yes. That's clutch. Um, yeah, Baldur's Gate 1, really good. I recently played back through it um, with the goal of clearing, like, every area, getting every That's secret. That's long... Every, and I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it good. I don't know. It's on Steam. And then I started playing Baldur's Gate 2 with kind of the same goal. But it's so much more in that game. And I... <laughs> That's true, I did. <laughs> RPGs D&D. &D. Heart. <laughs> Horny. <laughs> um, ooh. I thought that was, like, that was I, the, the stage. I got to a quest, like a dungeon crawl. I was hired by somebody, and I go in there, and then it turns out it was a double cross, and the people turned on us, and they're so strong. I'm stuck. I can't proceed. You don't have, enough, like, a save file beforehand? No. I have oh, so many quick saves. Like, I just use quick save. Man, and, and then You're my, my main coming. my main save is like when I started the game. Holy shit! I Someone know. done fucked up. Uh, it was me. It was me. And then I was like, yeah, oh well, I just won't play anymore. Ah! Oh my god, I'm getting tossed like a salad. But it's still a really fun game. Those are really great games. I'll never forget my greatest moment in Baldur's Gate was. Uh, I believe you're in the Underdark, so like the drow were there, the, the dark elves, you know. And uh, there's a wizards tournament, and you can enter in your your best wizard or spellcaster, and you win some great thing. I can't remember what it was, some armor or something. But I had this guy with me. I think he was an artificer technically. He's like the balloon man. He like takes you in a hot air balloon. You can have him join your party. Mm -hmm. And his whole deal is like he has a freaking gun that he makes different ammo for and he's technically a spellcaster like he's a magic user so i just entered him in this contest and i just started blasting i started blasting i just shot everybody and won so easily with my gun there's like wizards are trying to cast spells and i'm like bang 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 oh it just felt so good it felt so good it feels good when you break the mechanics of a game yes i was absolutely i was like uh did they did they realize that this was gonna happen it was amazing
No! Oh, no. Oh, oh. lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky. <Same>. Ah. <laughs> My recovery was just a little bit more. <laughs> So glad hurt, but not too bad. <laughs> but yeah, a uh, D&D campaign that I'm DMing is going well. That's good. Um, we just made it through the Coral Palace and found the Ocean's Chalice. The Coral Palace, Ocean's Chalice? Yep. For is that done on purpose? For Well, I in Forbidden Island, you find the Ocean's Chalice in either the Coral Palace or the Tidal Palace. I, you know, I'm trying to stay true to the the game. Stay true to this, and and then he grabs his crotch. Stay true to this. <laughs> the beer just went glug 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 glug. Cartoon ass beer. Go 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 go. Every so often, I'll grab a <laughs> bottle of beer, take a drink, it, and put it down. It wrong. And like the water sloshes in just the most movie <laughs> cartoony way, like oh, slosh, yeah. slosh. Like <laughs> movie beer is so sloshy <laughs> and sudsy. Sudsy, like especially like a bucket, a bucket of beer bottles. This is probably my favorite stage in the whole game because oh. it's it's like an F zero stage and it like has like the fucking. Best you know what soundtrack? it looks like? It looks like uh, a racetrack from Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, but F zero came out first. <laughs> A lot can we talk about how Connecticut is a great game? We can talk about how you played Connecticut, and that was the ah, it's so it. fun. Yeah, F Zero is so good. Uh, I was talking about Connecticut, though. and I was talking about the stage which we're on and the game that inspired it. Oh, the N sixty four F Zero was so good. Um, F Zero X because be a Kuaz. Be a Kuaz. Um, it was one of the few N64 games that ran at 60 frames per second. Every game on uh, N64 ran at like 20, if you could get that. It was like, narts! Early, early 3D, and everything ran like ass. But F-Zero, they optimized it, ran at 60, smooth. The GameCube one is so hard. That game is brutal. Hard, difficult, or like just hard? It's a hardcore. It's a hardcore, difficult game. Come on, come on, get out of here. No! No, that was meant for someone else! It's still pretty though, even to this day. F-Zero for GameCube is, is really pretty. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. F-Zero is great. Man, Captain Falcon. Falcon Bond! Oh, show me your moves. Which sounds suspiciously like, show me your boobs. Show me your boobs. That was what middle school us were laughing at. That's what it sounds like that's what he's saying. I didn't actually know what Falcon was from. The racing game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone's from the future, and they have tight tight pants on. They got type 2 diabetes. They got, they got tight pants. They got tight shirts. <laughs> Han <Hondi> Paul. <ball. laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> I saw that again this morning. It's so funny. It's so funny. Home Depot. Home Depot. Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you haven't seen that, it's like somebody, like every Me every Mexican dad, every, like yeah, every Hispanic dad, saying a like story. saying stuff. Um, Home Depot. <laughs> Subway. Oh. Subway. <laughs> Oh, it's really, it's really good. Well done. It gets posted around every now and again. Quite, quite, quite good accent work. Third oh, okay, third place. Third, you know, I don't know the map. Man, I was learning my moves and stuff. We still, we still got, we still got the it gold. by quite a bit. Everyone was so ripped. Way to go, butt wipe. Let's see if we got the gold. Didn't we though? Very good. Look at that gold cup. Wow! That's right. Wow! Wow! How's everybody else's week? How's being back at work? Um, uh, horrible. 
Nah, I mean, it was alright, but... Yeah, I am just not used to talking for eight hours straight. <laughs> like, projecting my voice for eight hours straight. I'm not used to it, and it really just flattened me. Let me tell you what. The secret is never stop working or ever get any time off and be <laughs> pounded into paste for the whole year. For real. Oh, yeah, Sam. I talked at a lot of students today. Are they all, like, juiced up on goofballs? No, it's super just quiet. Oh, they're quiet? Yeah. They weren't busting on God for real? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, the students I teach spend a lot of time um, ignoring me or being on their phones. Yeah. Of course. But I do teach uh, several, a couple classes of upperclassmen now, and that's actually really nice. Uh, the math level isn't high, but just the fact that they are upperclassmen, juniors and seniors. The maturity. Oh, it's such a difference, because they just want to, like, graduate and well, like, do well. You know, you, you notice this when you're in high school, and then you notice it never again. But, like... Um, you know, when people are a freshman, they're still in eighth grade, really. Yes. Yes, they are. And so that maturity doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Walmart. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Subway. <laughs> Horizon. Home Depot. Hear he me home. <laughs> Papa Yon's. <laughs> I just can't. I can't stop. I can't stop quoting it. It's just <laughs> like it's such so a funny. fun accent to yes, say. It is. It's just a fun way to talk. I just think they're neat. I do too. Oh man, I'm gonna get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey hey, I got the this good good thing. I hate when I throw a green shell. And then I'm just racing along next to it. And I oh, just yeah. know like, just I'm going to get it's hit. Coming from me. <laughs> it's coming me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like me and my hubris. Like <laughs> It's just like, hey, hey, remember me? Remember how you threw me and you, and you, just, you didn't think about it first? Cheeseland. Cheeseland. Oh, it's all made of cheese. When I lived in Denver, there was, there is. Um, a park near where I lived, and it's like in the center of town, and it is called Cheese Man Park, but it's pronounced Cheeseman. Sure, yeah. Cheeseman Park. It's a really nice park. Everyone knows the moon's made of cheese. I like how the rocks are also like in cheese formation. Can we talk about how, like, this is, this is an opinion my wife has. She's like, it's a real shame that Swiss tastes as bad as it does. No, wrong. I, I I agree. I like Swiss. But she's like, it's the one cheese that looks like cheese. That's true. So here's some additional cheese facts for your ass. Um, speaking of Swiss Swiss cheese, which I forget. Swoosh! The, I forget the official name of it. Uh, but they the, the holes are because uh, they determined that they, they figured out it's because of... Uh, impurities in the cheese and so like they got the process like they're this the land of switzerland or whatever they have like the government that that protects their cheeses like the bacteria that makes the cheese i like how you did that what that italian the bacteria <laughs> the bacteria um and they they the bacteria yum they protect they they made the process oh so pure that when they made the cheese it didn't have any holes in it and oh, they had to figure out yeah, no good how to reintroduce impurities and they figured like they got like sterile hay that they like ground into dust then they put that in the cheese and then it, it creates like these sites of nucleation that's or whatever cool, that's cool. that like actually creates bubbles I don't know why in the world I fucking know that I think it was like Tom Scott on YouTube or something that guy goes everywhere and does everything um, but yeah interesting cheese facts oh no Swiss cheese so you can take that home to your wife and take that home and Put it in Give her some cheese, cheese facts. Drawer. The cheese facts. The cheese facts. Nothing but the cheese facts, ma'am. Yeah, I do sir. love that those are dogs. The chain chomps. I can answer all your butterfly questions. All of them? I couldn't save it anymore. I got tired of holding it. Get smooth. Get smooth. Yeah, I love taking a wide outside of turns. I do love when you come in fourth place. 
I don't know this map. It's cheese! It's cheese! It's made of cheese! Gosh. Gosh. Oh, well, look who's in first Do you want to hear a, a crass, old, stupid you joke? you got to be kidding me. It's, it's not super crass. The second I come, I get in first place. Here comes the blue shell. That's all right. I'm not that far Get behind. him. Get him. Shoot it. Oh, you don't have a red shell. I thought I you did. I have nothing. Do but it. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Stay back. just so chaotic. It's so, the chaos. The chouse. Ooh, wild woods. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild woods. Wow, they, they zoomed out. But then they just fall back so quick. Because they don't contain the raw talent. Meow, meow. Yeah, go back to Tom Nook, you capitalists. No, Tom Nook's all happy to give you all the money. No assets, no problem. Just pay me back. Just pay me back. <laughs> what did uh, the chat say? Something that really threw Red 13 for a loop was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on GameCube. Yeah. You'd collect the Chaos Emeralds, but also you would raise Chaos Pets. Yes. Chaos Pets. Chaos. Yeah, that's how it was on the Dreamcast, except, um, man... Oh. Drag it. Yeah. Drag it. Uh, yeah, you're this <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the Dreamcast had VMUs, oh, the like yes. memory cards that had the screen on them that you could take with you and like play a little game on it. Pause. What do you mean your reading skills? Chaos versus chaos. So the chaos emeralds and the chows. I uh, that is how they are pronounced in the. Oh, game of seriously? Sonic. Yes. I didn't know that. Okay, I understand now. I don't know why it looks. I think we talked about this before. Why they're called. Chows and not like cows, <laughs> chaoses, but they're not. They're called chows. So a GameCube game that I played a lot with my friends in high school was Cubivore. Oh yeah, Cubivore. And that was such a weird game. Super weird. Hey, you're a cube with a mouth, and you gotta bang other cubes, and you gotta have little baby cubes, and you gotta evolve the best cube. That's the game. Two, two at once. Fucking rubber banding, cheating motherfucker. Okay, all right. All right, okay. Oh, you got booed. Yeah, get him. Got him. Stay back. Stay back! So, um, Kaylin Bryan isn't in the chat, but she was talking about uh, Pixar movies that make her cry because uh, they watched uh, well obviously but they watched Big Hero 6 and she was like just got wrecked at the end of Big <laughs> Hero 6 you know he's like Tadashi is here and then he's like all that stuff and then she's like, yeah Up obviously but Up really front loads it's oh my it's, god it's sadness it's like first five I minutes. know it's it's like it's very uh, cliched at this point but like I went to go see Up with my family oh uh, yeah and, and I we rarely saw movies together and I was sitting there like Grasping the armchair like must not, not cry, cry. <laughs> 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 like in a uh, cloud of the chance of meatballs where the cop sucks the tear back up into his <laughs> eye. <laughs> um, but another another sleeper sad movie is um, Onward. Oh, it's it's it. it's like a D and D kind of inspired movie where these two uh, brothers go on a quest. And, like, they're elves, and there's magic creatures, but it's, like, modern days. Like, they've lost magic because of electricity and stuff. And uh, Onward is so good. I like Onward a lot, says Mike. But, um, so they're trying to, to find their dad, who wrote a spell before he died, that he could come back for, like, a day. And they kind of botch the, the casting of it, and so they get, like, his legs. And they go on an adventure with his legs, trying to, like, bring the rest of him back. And it's, like, really funny and sweet and, like, really great the whole time. But the ending is just like a huge tearjerker because like the big brother gets to meet his dad for a little bit and the younger brother realizes that he's had a dad his whole life. His big brother has like been his dad his whole life. 
And it's just like there's a lot of really nice moments. Yeah. Um, but it is like this, like, <laughs> don't cry. Oh, I guess I just want to ball forever. <laughs> ball is life. I and mean, by that, I mean crying. <laughs> ball is life. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh, it's it's just really good. The one that, that got me in high school and gets me to this day is... Uh, uh, well, I can't think of the name now. It's Michelle Gondry. Um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I've seen it. I, it's really sad. I don't remember it being it's sad. It's like or, sickly sad and like... Yeah. It, the, the ending is like kind of... It's not hopeful per se... I don't remember the ending. I just remember like the the deal with the movie. The ending is like they know they're gonna break up, but they do it anyway. Oh yeah. But you know they're gonna break up. <clears throat> yeah. So like it's sweet. Like it's still worth it to them. Yeah. Even all of the, the pain and everything. However, still not gonna work. Yeah. Oh, Brave Little Toaster, so good. I watched that movie so much as a kid. Yeah, same. There was like a few movies that I watched about a trillion times. Ace Ventura, one and two, <laughs> wore the tape out. The Mask, Wayne's World. Oh yeah, The Mask. Brave Little Toaster. George of the Jungle. I did not watch George I of the Jungle. I watched so though. much George of the Jungle. Um, I love being in fifth place. Uh, all my Turtles tapes. Oh, all the Turtles my, tapes. All my Super Mario Brothers Super Show tapes. Um, wow. With Captain Lou Albano. Man, you just didn't do very well. <clears throat> I I got wrecked like. I was in first for so long, I and then I just got I think your whole thing is like, what I'm going to do is the last race, I'm going to get fourth. I got hit. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom. I just couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, the Brave Little Toaster, when the, um, I was like, like really mood scariness when the like uh, magnet like comes oh. over in the junkyard. Yeah, or, or when like, they all get, get, they're all singing in the quicksand. Yeah. Or like when the vacuum cleaner loses its mind and starts chewing up its own cord. Not, oh yeah. Not a the air conditioner that goes down. The air <laughs> conditioner, <laughs> the uh, goes freaking crazy in the wall and yeah dies, blows a, itself up. Not an original observation, but a lot of quicksand in movies. Not as much of an oh. issue in real life as you would yeah. you would be led to the believe. Fire swamp. <laughs> yeah, but the Brave Little Toaster. Yeah, that movie has some dark moments. It's great. It's a great, it's a great movie. I don't think my kids have seen it. What do we got? What do we got new? Ooh, Ooh <laughs> I don't like that it's one bit. Right. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Or is my cold bike? George the Jungle is an excellent movie. Java, 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 Java. There's that. Just get shirtless Brendan Fraser the whole time. Nobody's mad at that. Lean, mean Brendan Fraser. Oh, why did I do this again? Oh! Oh, yeah. Brave Little Toaster is... Yeah, Brave Little Toaster owns... It's just there's so many uh, surreal... Is that Don Bluth? ...dark moments, just like... I mean, a lot of a lot of shows nowadays have it, like... Uh, not, not exactly the same, but similar ideas, like these dark things happening that are, like, pervasive yeah. throughout, like... Uh, Don Bluth. One um, of the uh, blacklisted Disney animators. What am I thinking of? Like Adventure Time, or like Steven Universe, even. Uh, although it's less so, just. But or like Watership Down. Oh, that's an uplifting flick. <laughs> and it's book. It's the cast of the Mummy. For real. I read a really good uh, review slash synopsis slash character study of the Goofy brother in the Mummy. Right, like Evelyn's brother is the comic relief, mm -hmm. you know. But he's like, actually, what we're probably seeing here, maybe unintentionally, is like this man is very competent. He was a soldier in whatever war. He's probably got PTSD and uses humor as a form of like protection or shield. But like, he's always. I just ran right into that dang cow. They portray him as like a bumbling idiot the whole time, but he's never actually a bumbling idiot. Like, he's clutch in so many situations in that movie but he does it in sort of a like oh it was an accident or whatever style but like no he's probably just like a really good soldier and is just uh like compensating for the horrors of war with like humor 
and I was like, I need to rewatch that. Yeah, that's that happened to a lot of people who went to war because yeah. we didn't do anything about mental health. There was just the funny guy, right? The funny guy in the squad. And I remember the the thing was saying like this movie, the mummy takes place in whatever year, so this is probably the war he was in. And I was like, some British war, like the Babur War or something, you know? I like the some imperialist war that British exactly Britain right raised thrust upon themselves. Yeah, but um, it was like it was a, like a really good observation. Yeah, you got ghosts in your brain. You better do cocaine about it. Yeah. Ghosts in your blood. Yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, so you start, you get to start the easy races, we can switch it up. and you're making me do all the hard races. We, you, you do get in fourth place. <laughs> we switch off every other race. I know, but you, you do the you first one. Start, you can start in the it out circuit, next time. And that means I do the last it one in the time, circuit. And then you're I'll play the last one. You do all the rainbow roads. These are all rehashes, reimagines of old Mario Kart. So this is which, from if Game you Boy. remember. No, but I like that. I like that it's it's all the old race. Yeah, it's it's really cool, and it's not just a pure like. Yeah. They they like redo it and kind of like Sonic Mania. Anyway, my my thing about Sonic that I forgot now that Sonic. We're talking, uh, the Dreamcast. The reason why you had a Chow Garden and like raising them. Dreamcast had an, a VMU as its memory card, which was like a little thing you carried around. Um, it had a screen and little controls, and it was also where you saved your data, and you could play little mini games on it. So you take the chows out of the garden and like raise them, and then do stuff in the game. But of course, GameCube didn't have that. Although it did have an accessory to connect your Game Boy Advance to transfer stuff to the GameCube, and it did support that. But um, it was like not the exact same. Anyway, history is crazy. It was crazy. This is where. There are two things that I remember Come on, man. where important or more important things could live. I only associate dates of things by what happened in video game history, and I have too much knowledge there. And the name of every fucking politician that's ever made my life worse. I remember <laughs> all the bad ones. When people are like, who the fuck is that? I'm like, I know exactly who they are and where they're from. Because I can't have just normal memories. I have to have those ones. You can't have nice things. No. There is a comic that I frequently go back to. It is one of my favorites. <laughs> it is uh, a really, really old Saturday morning breakfast cereal. Like, super old. Like, got to be over a decade oh old now. And it was like a kid and his grandfather... And it's just like, oh, read me the one about the elephant again. And, like, the title of the story is, like, An Elephant Never Forgets. He opens the page, and it's an elephant in a suit with, like, a uh, like a hat, and he's got a briefcase. And it's like, I remember with perfect clarity the, na the face of every woman who has <laughs> ever scorned me. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing like being in fifth place. This isn't a hard one. This is an early one. It's not a hard map, but like, it's not hard for the bots either. That's my justification. Justification? Did I say joust? I thought so. Listen, it's justification. You can do this. Oh! So right for that banana. Oh! Timmy Gachi. <clears throat> So many typos I'm seeing out of your control, as is Pife. <laughs> Par for the course. The Rincewind of the Mummy. Rincewind? Like the wizard Rincewind? From Color of Magic? Is that what we're talking about, Nervous Hair? It's got to be. It's the only Rincewind I've ever heard of. <laughs> I don't know. What's a Rincewind with you? It's Terry Pratchett. Man, this is some blue-ass water. I saw I saw a classic tweet today, and it just I just I chortled out loud about it. Chortle. I, I was I was like <laughs> I was positively I was tickled pink. Positively <laughs> cackling, like I was so close to snorting. I sent you two to whack that freaking guy, and oh, instead yeah. you screwed it up like a couple of goji maca <laughs> snackaroos. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good so one. So funny! It's so funny. And there's a sequel that I I can't remember or find. But it's another like snack product that they turn into mobster talk. A couple of goji maca snackaroons. <laughs> yeah, <It's just laughs> so funny. <laughs> kind of want some of those goji maca snackaroons. <laughs> no, they, they, they just mess it up. Hey, 
Hey guys, wow. Oh wow, a Foo Fighters. <laughs> Man, I ran right into that yeah. dang old tree. Mm, dang, dang, dang. So, uh, come on, come on, come on. Nobody, nobody was in the pre-show, but uh, yeah. By the way, the uh, pre-show pre is every time, even though you could hear us when we started streaming. Yeah, it was an accident. Pre-show is like ten minutes before we start the show. Just join the Discord voice call. It's us goofing around. It's just us goofing around. So you can hear us. Honestly, ready. Half the time we're in pre-show, we say a lot of things that we are like, we'll save it for the stream, and then we never get to. No, it. this doesn't come up for Par for the course. Yeah, it just happens. It's pipe. It's pipe. It's oh, that was Ooh, close. missed that fish. That's a euphemism. Um, looks like Jeff is playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> what the flip was I going to talk about? Instead of watching us. No, it's something new. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, so I saw that the BBC is releasing another like Planet Earth bit with you know David Attenborough or whatever. And we were, we were saying that <laughs> we were saying that it would they should really release a few promo videos <laughs> with just different actu uh, celebrities doing the voiceover for Planet Rowan Earth. Rowan Atkinson. Like Rowan Atkinson or like uh, I think they Sylvester Stallone. Uh, just well, uh, of course, <laughs> but just like it would be really funny if they did a few like teasers for it, where it was just like. Like uh, the sea slug is going to get the frogs. <laughs> Look, a drifter. Let's kill him. <laughs> like, oh wow, I, guys! Oh, wow, th this bird is a bird. I mean, there are spoof videos of like Snoop Dogg doing it. I think what they should actually do is have us be on there doing impressions oh, of celebrities that's, that's doing absolutely what they should do. No, look, look, it's a that bird. Yeah, we're doing. Yeah. Are you doing? <laughs> Bobcat Goldthwaite. <laughs> okay, everybody shut up. Nobody move, nobody think, nobody speak. I'm doing math. You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter. We're, We're in traffic. We are flying through these races, by the way. Oh, yeah. What are the odds I just... Ooh! Flying through these races is also what the British Imperial Army said during the height of empire. <laughs> Got their ass. <laughs> there was there. Was, oh, look at these! Look at all these bananas I've got. Do it! Do it! Get on that skateboard. You ever just? Nice. Well, <laughs> bonk, well, bonk, bonk. Well, <laughs> you're doing a little bumper bowling right now, but bonk, bonk. Oh, you hesitated. Yeah, I, I didn't want to. <laughs> it just, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't feel like I got it. scared. I wasn't feeling <laughs> it. I just feel like I'm night driving with no one around. Like, this is the best kind of freeway driving. Oh, yeah. At night with no other cars in the road. Pumping some music. It's great. It's, 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 it's I mean, like, this Some night, initial D soundtrack. I can feel the temperature of the air in this night, and it is nice. Oh, it's crisp? This is a crisp, cool evening. Yes. You got the windows down. You have to have the you windows You got the down. music on. Yes. You're on the freeway. I mean, freeway driving with the windows down on a crispy night. It's, it doesn't get much better. You, and you got a beer do in between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> a doobie rolled up. <laughs> Ham fist in the doobie. Not to out anyone's <clears throat> dad. <laughs> but I definitely had like moments where like my dad would be like, "Oh, we're just going right home." So he'd like, yeah, have his uh, beer between his legs, his, his car beer. Yeah, and it's like, uh huh. No, I don't think my dad ever did that. It was like half done. Yeah. Um, the thing about night driving, like, you can't have anyone else in the car with you because you can't talk to anybody when you have the windows down on the freeway. No, you cannot. With the crispy night air coming in. Plus, you don't want to talk to anybody. You, you can wanna, have a car full of like-minded individuals. You want to be infinite is what you want to do. Look at that. There, that was such an... Like, no one was around me. That's called a perfect game. We bowled a perfect game. That was just such a... Such Did you want to start out? No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather be able to complain about it. <laughs> so, I just like that kind of thing. There is a... A specific drive I always think of, and every time I do that drive, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the place. And it's when you're driving on 74, and I think it's when you hit Cincinnati. But there's a section of the city where you drive, and it's just like bridge, 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 bridge over you, and it feels like you're in 
uh, a race game Lake, tunnel. Lakeshore Drive. And Lakeshore Drive at in Chicago night, at, at night. night. When there's nobody when there. there's no traffic. It's so fucking good. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> but I just always remember that comedy sketch. We're like, we get in my, we get in my Camaro convertible, and we're going to Lake Shore Drive. Drive this big, <laughs> they pull this big fan out, right? <laughs> What's that you said? <laughs> I remember that. Was that Second City? Yeah, yeah, it was Second City. It was, it was the when uh, they called you up and you were talking about like, the oh yeah, <laughs> in my Camry. Yeah, and they were like, uh, oh, I'm just here in my college short farm improv. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. I love that. So funny. Because they were like. Oh, you like a like a like a little car, and I was like, oh, bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> but it's my four banger Camry, which I love to death. <laughs> I don't think, I, if unless that car gets crunched, which God willing it would never will. I don't think I'll ever get that car. I mean, up. if our buddy didn't crunch it, <laughs> my God, fucking, <laughs> oh my God, immediately. I I took I, I just got the car. It was used. I mean, I didn't buy it new. It was old. But old, it was er, it was brand new to you. It was brand new to me. Um, I was driving a Ford Taurus, and it was so nice to be in something that wasn't a Ford Taurus. And then the Ford Taurus was fine. It got me around. I was just, I drove a Japanese car before. I like Japanese cars. Um, and so I was, I was driving it camping, and I can't, I, I like pulled in, and it was like, I was like so jazzed about it, camping with my friends. And a uh, friend of ours uh, was parked, and they backed up because they needed to like get in a space. And I was just shouting, I'm like, stop, stop. And they hit the right, front of the car right into immediately. It. Luckily, nothing happened, but it was just like yeah. I was so mad. I had it for like all of a day. That was right after the same friend because the campsite was kind of covered in leaves, and the drive and just like went straight off the drive into the into the yep. like the grant like the woods with their car. Like, oh, is this not? I couldn't tell where the the drive was. Not a very good driver. It's all right. You know? It is not all right. <laughs> hey, 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 my it car. It is not all right. Gosh <laughs> oh. darn it. Goosh. Goosh darn it. So many bananas. Uh. It's nice, though, actually, to start work on a Thursday. Yeah, it's a weird day to start. Well, you know, I don't know why. Oh, I thought that was going to be the. I thought that was the last lap. But uh, whoopsie! Because then we just have one day left of the week. Yeah, I'm excited for that. One Even though one of, of my days this week is devoted to running Ethernet for my dad. My dad. My dad. My dad. There is this show that I watch. Um, it's by a guy named R.M. Brown. He's super funny. It's like a in the style of like drive time radio but it skewers like right wingers anyway he has he, he has different drops he has a drop of Trump going dead <laughs> <laughs> that's all I think of when I think of dead <clears throat> now have you, you so you watch the show um, I think you should leave of course yeah I just love the like and then I go on my phone <laughs> if I think you're getting the better of me I go on my phone I'm supposed to be like a right wing talk show host like I hit the issues <laughs> But if you start to get the upper hand, I go on my phone. Well, we were saying it a couple weeks ago. It was like, got apps? They got... Oh, yeah, we were, we were, we were. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Games, obviously. Medieval game, obviously. Obviously a jousting game. Obviously a jousting game. (laughs) I even have an alarm on my phone. (laughs) So weird, so funny. Ah! I lost lost the juice. Mm, Yeah. This is, some, this is the soundtrack. This is the Super Nintendo soundtrack, Mario Kart. That soundtrack rips. You ever play Wacky Wheels? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was the not as good Mario Kart for DOS. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I played so much Wacky Wheels when I was a kid. I mean, it was good. That yeah, was fun. Yeah. Uh, but it was not Mario Kart. No, but we had we didn't have that. Yeah, you you again. You had the like the Aldi brand. We had we had the off brand. It games. was always the DVDs at the front of the dollar store. <laughs> Yeah, for, it really was. Why do we need Mickey Mouse when we have Binky Moose? <laughs> it defines who I am. <laughs> we have Miguel Raton. <laughs> don't need to. We don't need Ratatouille. We have Cooking Rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Incrunzable Hunk. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> and America Man.
It was though. Like I grew up with Image Comics, like Exo Manowar. Well, not Ima- Iron Man. Image was not like that. I know, but yeah. like Exo Manowar is Iron Man, yeah. and yeah, trying like there are all these. Uh, who, Bloodshot is Deadpool. Like they're just all these. They're taking the heroes. tropes. Yeah, but I mean, like Image, Image took a lot. No, of no, they're like legit. They, t- you know. they took a lot of people. Which was, oh man, what was Spawn? Spawn wasn't Image, was it? Um, Spawn's Marvel. Or no, no. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It was independent. It was Dark Horse. Dark Horse, maybe. I don't remember. If Grunart Malk wasn't probably asleep, he would know. Grunart Malk. Uh, but we got a lot of comics at the dollar store. Yeah. Because <laughs> it came in these three packs. I and read the, the middle comic was always like it was real superheroes, but it was always an ad for like bit of honey. <laughs> and it was like these superheroes fighting this monster that was like made of bit of honey. <laughs> and like you bought an advertisement. <laughs> it was there was the uh, comics were always a pack of three at the dollar store, but the who, middle the middle comic was always this fake one. Who published Spawn? Yeah, who who did it? I know it's Seth MacFarlane who was the creator, but I used to watch that movie. It sucks, but I loved it when I was a kid. He was he was edgy. I mean, I could just look it up. He could. I, you know. Tell you what. Image? He says image question mark. That's what we were thinking. But. Maybe something with a V? It's image comments. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was image. So, yeah, not that. Not that weird. No, they're, they're, they're like, you know, the, the, the number three. They're like the new balance of comics. <laughs> I don't know if I ever owned a pair of New Balance. I'm sure I did because I sold them at the Payless shoe store. That's where I got my shoes because my parents could pay Payless. less. Yeah. I just love you know just whatever brands they have. It's what I, whatever whatever I have. Um, I would always try to get the you know we went to like Payless or, or uh, what was that uh, Famous Footwear. Uh huh. And try to get uh, the name brands, uh, they, but on super they sale. Occasionally had name brands. K Swiss, remember that? Oh one? yeah, K Swiss. I wear my K Swiss. Yeah, that was a big one when I was in eight, seventh, yeah. eighth grade. Sometimes you could get Converse there. Definitely got Converse there, but it was never like the exact ones that I wanted. Right. Man. Oh man. Ah. Ah. I remember. Um, it was when I had a little bit of walking around money because I had a job. Um, hey. I had a bunch of Converse, and they made uh, some Converse out of hemp. Okay. And so I got some hemp Converse, which they look sweet, but damn. Yeah, like, Shoe Carnival. I remember Shoe Carnival. Shoe Carnival, for sure. I went to Shoe Carnival. Yeah. Uh, they had a big wheel in there. Um, but when they got wet, they stink so fucking bad. The Converse? The, the hemp ones. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Yeah, when I whenever I like got oh, to that's college not, and it's not over and had money to blow, I bought a bunch of Converse and the the one pair I remember loving so much was there were a pair of doubles. They had the two layers you could fold them out, and they were neon colors and the fe- they were made of like felt instead of canvas. They were so soft. They were it was like stiff, but it was it, I don't know. It was just really nice. They were like really thick feeling. I wore those shoes all up and down. And then I had a pair of doubles that were just regular canvas. I remember those you, were, you those wore were the nice shit too. out of those. Yeah. They were like uh, blue and tan. They were great. I also had a pair of double laced uh, Onitsuka Tigers that I, I freaking love. There was a. No, no, you Ooh. don't get it. Um, I had. They, it doesn't exist anymore, but there was a, this website called like. ClassicSportsShoes.com. And Classic I bought a bunch. Sport shoes. I bought a bunch of shoes from them. So when Bill Kill Bill came out, got the yellow ones. No. Oh. I got they they had a special one made just for that website for some reason, oh. and they were called Bill Kills, and they were the inverse colors. Oh, that's so cool. they're black with the yellow stripe. I wish I still had those. Those are super comfortable. I want to get a pair of the Adidas uh, um, Life Aquatic shoes, the Fizzy shoes. <clears throat> hey, like the shoe. Um, I know people who own them. I do not like the look of them. Hey, dudes, I don't know what those are. They're like a moccasin slip-on style oh, okay. shoe. Yeah. Um, kind of like Tom's or whatever. 
if you see the shoes that uh, uh, Tyrant Heel wears, he wears Hey Dudes. Oh, okay. I don't pay that close attention to I'm, other people's shoes. And I really like shoes. I own a lot shoes. of them. I really like shoes. shoes. Let's get some shoes. I own shoes. Too many shoes. Let's get some shoes. Ah! Oh, it's a little fire flowers. In yeah, you, you avoided it for a while. Somebody. What is me. your opinion on them, Nervous Hair? I, it's just not my personal style. So I, I'm not trying to, like, throw shade here. Did you see it? Did you see him? Huh. Oh, come on. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. man. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. Oh, Oops. My God. God. Oh, my God. We might not get gold. No. Not at this rate. I was doing so well. You're in the Donkey Kong Kingdom. Did you see the Super Mario movie? Oh, yeah. It's like that. Yep. Okay. You still got dinged by it. Nope. I don't know how to do it. Oh, boy, you're choking I'm here. doing great. <laughs> oh. I thought I was over. We keep doing that. It's my time! To shine? To shine, even! No! Gosh, come on. What the heck, man? What the heck and gosh! Get him, get him, get him, get him. He's a pig in a Nixon mask the whole time. My hubris. You almost got hubris. Oh my god! Nice. Yeah, it sucked. Jeez! It's intense! Yeah, it's like camping. Ugh. Because it's intense. Just like there's- Because it's intense. It's just like no quarter. We still got we still it. still got it. Wow. Surprised. So he was Nixon, is what you're saying. So I started blasting. He's a pig in a Nixon mask the whole time. So he was Nixon. Da -da 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 -da. We got the barrel of we gold. We got the barrel and the banern. Oh yeah, well, we got well, we got time for one more circuit. Yeah, we, we, got, got, we got time. we got time for one more. We got time for one more circuit. We just got one more circuit. We can do one. It's no problem. We can do one more. It's no problem. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The candy, the candy, the candy, the candy, so we better. That's a movie my kids haven't seen that I'd like to show them. Sandlot? It's Ferris Bueller's Day Out. They've seen the Sandlot so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, one of Clark's friends, um, actually the Red 13's kid, uh, made Clark a birthday card that said, Happy birthday, sport man. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pair of PF Flyers, the exact same from the Sandlot. PF Flyers. Actually, when we were doing college improv. Those I are basically, ch I remember you having those. Yeah, those were great. I wore them until they literally fell apart. I loved them. Yeah. They are guaranteed to make you run faster and jump higher. That's right. Guaranteed. I mean, how are you going to check it? But guaranteed. Guaranteed. Oh, I, I did I, I outran a lot of dogs in my day. I did not know where that track was going. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Amuse, boosh. I'm amused by this boosh. This boosh is amusing. Did you watch The Bear? No, but I know I know what it's the premise. Did you watch The Beef? No. Oh, no. 
Never mind then. I was going to have a conversation with you. You can but still I have a no, conversation. No, it's fine. I don't watch many shows these days. Yeah, same. But I watch. I that really. One. I, I'm going to make time <laughs> sometime this weekend to see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, it's I mean, it's so good. I want to see it so it's, bad. It's so good. It's so good. Every, I bet every you. minute of it. I'm excited. It's just a, a feast. I like going to the movies, and I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you're gonna be happy. It's just it's excellent. I much prefer going to the movies than watching a movie at the home. Oh yeah, I mean, well, it depends on the theater, but yes, agree for the most part. I think it's pretty much any theater I'd rather go to. Mm, no, so I took uh, Clark to see, um, what is it even? Indiana Jones. Yeah, it was pretty good. But the theater, walking into it, the actual theater, like the screen room, uh, was really stuffy and warm. Oh, it's supposed to be like frigid. I know, like the air was off. And no, it was horrible. No, well, for like two hours. I mean, and then every time I went out to go to the bathroom, I was like, "Oh, it's refreshing out here." And that was bad. Um, but uh, other than that, I usually like to go be like cold and frosty in a the movie theater. Absolutely. At that time, I was like, "All right, the, why aren't they fixing this?" Can't be expected to just like watch a movie. When it's 70 degrees Ow. in here. Second. Oh. That's my first second of the night. Oh, 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 it's the oh. first one of the night. The cracks are showing. I I will probably end up going to the movie alone this weekend. I like going to the movies alone, too. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I would go usually go see a movie whenever I went on one of those work trips. Yeah. I'll probably go to the IMAX, see it in the big. I think I saw the Scarlet Witch movie. I saw the last movie I saw. Not Scarlet Witch, uh, 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 um, Black Widow movie. Mm. I saw the last movie I saw was The Return of the Jedi when it got re-released. Mm. I am that was great by the way, seeing the theaters. Um, what is happening? I am behind on Marvel movies in a very big way. I I would say you're not missing too much. I haven't seen either of those, Guardians of the Galaxy new one or oh, Wakanda the new Forever. Guardians movie is excellent. I haven't seen that. It's really good. I am probably like 10 movies behind. However, I did because it was on sale for some sale. I am determined to watch the Zack Snyder Justice League cut. I got I, it on 4K I watched Blu-ray. It. It's, it's four hours. It's Here's the thing, though. It's four hours. It is not appreciably better. I didn't think. I don't know. I just love the hubris of a four-hour movie. Right. It was definitely longer. And that is, I think, what the draw was. I, like, it is it is insane to me that he's like, this is the way it was meant to be. It was four hours. Yeah, I watched it, and I'll be honest, like, the thing is, I didn't love the other one, which I know people are like, well, that's because it, it didn't, it wasn't his vision. And I watched it, and I was like, well, his vision was, like, not that much better, to be honest. I, I just, I love when you give creatives the rope to hang themselves because uh-huh. I'm like I gotta see what monstrosity comes out of this oh it, it's a monstrosity absolutely I do like the idea of it being in 4 by 3 that's kind of cool yeah I don't care about that <laughs> not saying like oh, don't talk about it but like that's not a thing that like I appreciate because you just don't like art <laughs> that's why I'm, that's why I, I wouldn't even notice probably I, that's what I'm saying. Like most people won't notice. Yeah. I I think it's neat. I think it doesn't do anything for the film. Uh huh. But also, like, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the DC bar- movie universe. No, it's <laughs> not great. That's the thing. Like, I loved Batfleck. Yeah, I still haven't seen that. The I mo- should probably the, watch that first. The movie was mediocre. Like Batman vs Superman, mediocre movie. The Batman bits were so excellent. I just thought he did such a good job as Batman. It used to be like Batman was my favorite character growing up. Like he was my jam. I love Batman, and he was just such a good. He's supposed fruit to fruit of a Batman. He's supposed to be in the new the the Flash movie or whatever. Is yeah. Batfleck? Really? Yeah. I just uh, and but then honestly, it has Ezra Miller in it, which oh boy, talk about problematic. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get first. Honestly, the. Uh, the newest Batman movie was really good. 
I have, I have, but it, it felt very outside the universe. It's been sitting on my server forever. I just, it's one of those where people are like, it's a long movie. And when everybody, it's universal, everyone's like, it's a long movie. No, I didn't, it's not, it's, I didn't feel like it's long. I just thought it was good. It's a really good, and it feels like a detective movie, like a cop movie, which, whatever, but. Well, um, he's the, de that's his character. That's his deal, right? Yeah. And that's what the movie is. He's hunting down clues and like, he's like hitting the streets, you know, to figure stuff out. It's good. It's really good. You know what else is really good? The freaking Dune movie, and I'm so excited for the Oh my for God, I'm one. so excited. What it, do you, what do you think of did you see the 1984 Dune? I've seen the David Lynch one. Parts of it now and then. I love like, it. not a lot of people do. I don't. From even From what think I remember, David Lynch it was, was like, like grotesque and hard to watch. It wasn't that grotesque. But that's when I, I, was, yeah. I was a kid, and I thought the Duke was gross. Oh yeah, he is. But uh, Harkonnens. It, it was just yeah, the Harkonnens. The new one is so good. Just like, yeah, really good. Timothy. Chalamet, I think, does a really good job. Very excellent film filmmaking. And Zendaya. Zendaya. Zendaya is me. Yeah. That's I also think of Vine. And LeBron James is Quanky. <laughs> really good. Danny DeVito is Coco. A B C D Jason Derulo. <laughs> three hour water world. I didn't know there was a three hour water world. Um, yeah, release the cut. Boy, we water world's a movie that people don't like, but I like. It's not. I don't love it. I will. That was like during the Kevin Costner's in every fucking movie yeah. ever time. I will admit that I haven't seen it since I was a kid, and I was just really. I really liked the world and uh, oh, everything when I was a kid. Destroyed here. Um, but yeah, the new Guardians movie is is really really good. It's it's an excellent movie. Uh, a lot of the Marvel movies lately, I haven't been thrilled. Like I don't love. They're fine. Um, because just, they don't have a they don't have a story right now. I'm fine with Marvel. I'm fine with superheroes. I just God, it's like. For the longest time, that was anything that was coming out was just another superhero movie, and yeah. it's like I just need some spice. Yeah. I haven't seen Oppenheimer. I have bananas. How did you hit me? I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. Uh, I haven't seen either. Barbie I, I'd or like to. I didn't see Barbie either. This weekend, uh, the kids are going out of town for the whole weekend. I know. But I'm going out of town Saturday to Sunday, so Mary just has like the weekend to herself mostly. I am going out of town Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Boom. Boom. Nice. This map is hectic. It is. It's hard to navigate. Okay, second. I didn't think oh, I was going to get that. some solid yeah. second places here. This is a solid... B uh, we're close. Minus. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close to winning. Uh, pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, the Wakanda Forever was good. I mean, it was long. I took Clark to see it, and I think I would have enjoyed it more if it, he hadn't been telling me how long it was the whole time. Um, but that felt like they were trying to do like trying to three yeah. movies at once. They were trying to. Do too many movies at the same time. It felt like Spider Man 3 in that Spider I was going to say, is it like Spider Man 3? Yeah. I haven't even seen the new Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Oh, like, it's so good. I know. It's Again, so good. I, want, I have nothing but wanting to see it. I just haven't had the time. I've been so god dang busy. I mean, listen, these animated superhero movies are really clowning the the other ones. Yeah. Like they're well, you just, can do more. It, oh, it, so excellent. And I actually think that uh, what's his face is the, like a really good super or uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Not that. Oh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. I think he's pretty good. Peter Parker. Oh yeah, excellent Peter Parker. Probably the best one. Um yeah, I'd I'd agree with you. I do think that purely on nostalgia and the fact that it's Sam Raimi, I I the fact that that the first Spider-Man exists is wild. Yeah. Like it's, in the time when it came out, yeah. Like that, the, they got a horror director to do Spider-Man, yeah. and it's kind of weird. Like I, it kind of ushered in like the superhero. Absolutely, and I and I really enjoyed that Spider-Man when it came out. Yeah, me I too. thought it was great. 
But superhero movies back then were so disparate, and they were so like few yep. and far between that it was like just a, a weird like oh it was, it was you know, like we had like the eighty nine Batman and like every Batman that came out after that and like no other movies. and then Batman and Robin yeah I was saying like just the like the Clooney Batman the Kilmer Batman yeah uh, I I grew up watching the Kilmer Batman so I watched that movie I so much I watched all of them like uh, I wore that tape they, out I really like the eighty nine Batman is probably my favorite Batman. Probably, probably, probably. Like I really like it. I love Michael Keaton and just about anything he does. Yeah, yeah. Did you see Birdman? Yeah, Birdman was great. So good. It was great. Do you have you ever seen? It's a really odd movie. Um, the other guys. Huh. It's about. Um, it's got uh, Will Ferrell and. Uh, oh, I. It's like they're cops. Like they're. Yes. I really would like to see it. It's very Marky Mark. St- Marky Mark's in it. Fuck that guy. Um, Mac Wabag. So and it, it's a very strange movie because it has that it has Michael Keaton in it. It has The Rock in it. Uh, yeah. And uh, Michael Keaton's whole thing is isn't like, there a thing when like The Rock and Samuel Jackson jump off a building? Yes, and, and die? they just die. <laughs> uh, uh, Michael Keaton's character's whole thing is like he's. He works at a Bed Bath & Beyond as well as the police thing, and his whole thing is he keeps saying TLC lyrics, and he doesn't realize that he's like, like he's got to know that he's doing this. That's weird. And he's like, you know I say? Just like, don't go chasing waterfalls. Like, this is, it's just <laughs> deadpan. It's really good. And then the end of that movie goes right, like, out of nowhere, the credits are about the financial collapse of 2008, and it gives you a whole, <laughs> it has nothing to do with the movie. It was oh, so wild. Place. That's so funny. Such a weird one. Well, we got it. We did get a gold. We got the gold. Anyway, see the other guys? I don't know. It's not that great of a movie, but it's got weird stuff in it. Michael Keaton's in it. Yeah. It's got a thing about the financial collapse that's really good. Um, what other su- oh, I re- like, you would also get superhero movies like Mystery Men. Which oh, is yeah. just like Mystery Men's awesome. So great. So good. So great. Night Red Thirteen. We're we're gonna call it right here. Later, anyway. dude. I know we're called the Super Duper Squad. Nice. We did it against all odds. The Phantom. That came out. The Phantom. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Or yeah. the the Shadow. Shadow. One of the the purple guy. With wasn't that Alec Baldwin the Shadow? Like, way back. There was all these, like, weird... Because they would just be able to license them for, like, yep. no money. Remember when Green Hornet with Seth Rogen? It was bad. <laughs> I, uh, again, I was a kid. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But, yeah, bad in retrospect, probably. I, I watched it, yeah. All and right. The, that Green Hornet, it's like one of those classic radio... Yeah. Like, radio talk show heroes. Yeah, it was like Mr. Magoo if he And was the same thing with, like, hero. The Shadow. Like, who knows The Shadow knows? And it was... I think it was Alec Baldwin in, a, like, a really bad movie. Well, everyone, if you like bad movies, any whom, why don't you join us next week? On the and next, next week. time. On the next time. Bye. Thanks okay, for bye. Thanks for watching. Get, get bye, out of here. Bye. Just get out. Go to bed. No you, have wor- you all have work tomorrow. Never loved you anyway. You all have work just like me. <laughs> <laughs>